thank you for tuning in to Chicago Prayer and Hope, where we pray for you because we believe prayer is powerful, because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hears our prayers and who answers them in his own timing because his timing is perfect. And also, where we share the good news of Jesus Christ, which truly brings salvation to you and it offers you eternal life if you believe by faith and repent of your sins because he's the only way to the Father. Amen? Amen. Well, thank you for tuning into this video, my brothers, friends, sisters, family, you name it. Hope you guys are having a great day and you're ready for some encouragement. We're going to talk about a topic that we have talked about like two or three times, I think we have. But first of all, I just want to say if you guys ever hear me repeating a topic ever that we have talked about, whether it's like two or three times, like we talked about the topic, or four times or five times, I just want to personally, personally say, please understand that we cannot hear topics enough, that we cannot be reminded. How many of you guys have heard of a, of a notepad or a notebook or the Reminders app on your either Apple iPhone or Android phone or Samsung phone or computer? You need, we need reminders because our minds forget stuff. We need, same thing for the gospel. We need to be reminded of what the good news is uh, so we can, because we forget it each and every day. I'm just gonna say that to you. We don't, we, for, we are forgetful people. We need to be reminded of this stuff. We got a new topic. We have heard this verse before, but I'm gonna elaborate on it and share my own viewpoint on it. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, open your Bibles up. If you have them, if you don't have them, I'll make an exception. You can go get your smartphone device. But don't go on social media, right? All right, brothers and sisters, without further ado, go to James 1, verse 2 to 3. We're talking about joy today. Good old joy. The Bible has a lot to say about joy. Okay, James 1, verse 2 to 3. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know the testing, verse 3, because you know the testing of your faith produces perseverance. You know, let's go on to verse 4. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Friends, consider it pure joy. Pure joy. Have joy. Doesn't mean don't have joy. Whenever. Okay. Whenever. You're running late to work. There's a lot of cars out in the street. And the traffic. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm running late. I would be so late. Pure joy. Have joy. Why? Because God is in control. He's still good. He is still on the throne. We can have joy. The pure joy. Whenever we face many trials, that's what it's talking about. A trial like whether you're running whether you're running late and you're gonna be late, whether you find out bad news about your health or someone else's health, or there's a relationship problem. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, consider it pure joy. For you know that the testing of your faith produces per perseverance. The testing is the thing that you don't like. So having joy, whenever you... I'm going to put my phone up. I have it on my phone. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because if you know the testing of your faith, if you believe by faith, this is why I say, when we do the call to come to God, by faith, believe by faith. If you, if you have that strong faith, you know, the testing of your faith, your faith, if your faith is strong, even just a little bit strong, 
produces perseverance, which we'll talk about in another video, perseverance. Where does my joy come from? My joy doesn't come from this world, friends, brothers and sisters. I'm going to tell you that. You think it comes from me making re these videos? Yes, these videos make me, encourage me, and motivate me because I am being blessed as I am talking and these videos help me out. And I'm grateful that I get to help you guys out. But, no, I do not find my joy in these videos. Do I find my joy from a green paycheck? No, I find my joy from Christ alone. And even if I'm having a bad day, I don't get worked up because I know that some there's some situations that are out of my control, and there's some situations that are in my that are in my control. But still, God is on His throne. He's still with me. That's where my joy comes from. And I pray that that's where you, your joy can come from as well. Let's be. Let's find our joy in the right places that we should. If you want joy, it can only be found in Christ. It can only be found in Christ. It can. And that's my prayer for you, that you can find that joy in Christ alone. That He can be that joy for you that you've been looking for, that you've been longing for all along. Amen? If, let me do the call for you to come to God if you haven't came to God before, because this topic might be pretty hard for you to grasp and understand. You might be like saying, Joy, I don't even understand what you're talking about. I just want to be happy. I just want everything to go good. We're going we're to get you on the right track to, for this topic to become easier for you, for you to understand. And here's what you do. You say, say a simple prayer of faith like this. Lord, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you, Father God. Please come into my life. Please change me from the inside out. I'm done running from you. I cannot do this life without you. I need you, Lord. I surrender everything to you. Amen. If you just pray that prayer for the first time, or we pray that prayer, known as a practical sin, then I want to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Be a scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, or one walks in, back in, heaven rejoices, and I rejoice with you. Because I've been praying for this moment, because this is truly the most important decision that you can ever make with your life, is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, and accepting Him as your Lord and Savior. That's the most important decision that you can make in this life. It's not where you go to school. It's not the car you drive. It's not who you choose to marry. It's by making this important faith decision. This is what it's about. And I pray that you can rejoice in the decision that you made today and have joy in it. Well, if you just made this decision today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources on the next steps that you can take on this important decision that you made today. We're not going to mock you. We're not going to press you, you. We just want to walk alongside you and let you know what's next on this important decision that you made today. Well, are you truly ready to receive the blessing, friends, that the Lord promises? Then put your hands up. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that you can have joy in Christ. And joy is always found in Christ and not in this world. Amen. Well, if you were encouraged by this video, this video, friends, I encourage you to go click that share button, share it with someone that you think needs to be encouraged as well, and that needs to find joy from this video, which is only found in Christ. This is the word that we read today in the book of James 1, verse 2 through 3. Um, if you need prayer, if you just want to talk, Always reach out to me. I'm here for you. We cannot do this life alone, but we can do it when we are stronger together in the body of Christ. Amen? Keep Christ number one, my brothers and sisters and friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, and God bless.